Armin, put on your Iranian analysis hat. Okay, let's get into it. Higgs Boson is asking, how much influence does Mossad have in the high ranks of the IRGC? I heard many generals were fired recently. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of assassinations going on, uh, left and right. IRGC members are just being taken out, and and there is not nothing that the Islamic Republic of Iran has been able to do as a way to show to the people of Iran that they are able to do something in return. Okay, basically the message I think by Musa to Iranian I member uh, IRGC members are that you're all sitting ducks we could just take you out as we wish right like we could just come into the country just take you out like because it used to be that uh, Mossad used to take out nuclear facilities or enrichment well yeah, uranium enrichment facilities or military facilities now they're like you know like and Iran has spent so much money trying to make it more secure in these areas. And Musa are like, can you secure every single IRGC member just walking the streets of Iran or driving the streets of Iran? Can you secure their apartment? I don't yeah. think so, because we're there arresting them, interrogating in their own home before they even leave the country. Move out. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, like basically I think that the scenario that they want to create is that that you're scared every day as an IRGC member. Like especially if you're involved in anything of the nuclear, you know, activities at all, right? They just want you to know, like, they are closer to you than you think. The <laughs> the the Mossad has claimed that they are in the heart of the heart, like this is inception heart of the Iranian regime. That's how that's how they phrase it. The heart of the heart. And a lot of people have tried to figure out what is, what could possibly the heart of the heart of Iranian regime mean. The deep and state. a lot of people, like, no, no, that, no, they, they must say like this must be Khamenei's closest circle, right? Like some of the people who have been mentioned as potential spy are people that Khamenei meets with on a daily basis. Like they, that's, yeah, and they're saying that Mossad is as close to Khamenei's bedroom door. That's how far they have, inf like, got it right recently they have taken out somebody uh very close to the office of the supreme leader like Khamenei and these are supposed to be some of the most secure places in Iran like also they did an attack recently it's very close the, like these are places that is are so extremely secure and there were cameras everywhere right the security was one of the highest and they still managed to come in and do their thing and leave and they're like to a lot of people, it seems like if Mossad wanted to, they could even take out Khamenei. That's what some people are saying. I don't know if that's true. Okay. Um, but you know how bad things are when some of the most important people in IRGC was recently changed, including potentially um, the fourth most powerful person in the entire country was fired from his job which was the head of the intelligence, um, IRGC's intelligence. Um, so, and, it, uh, and a whole bunch of other uh, top, top officials in IRGC. And to me, that to a lot of people, that suggests that things are bad because these were very, very powerful people, very mm -hmm. powerful people, people that seemed untouchable. And now, and the only way, oh yeah, that, that's the guy. The only way, they could have been, they are removed is because Khamenei himself wants that. And if Khamenei is doing such a major ch change, it's signaling to the Iranian people that there must be a, a lot of fa a, um, failures, right, that Khamenei is not happy with. And there must be an internal civil war happening within IRGC itself. So this is unprecedented. This is like, this could be behind the scenes there might be a fight for power that could redefine the entire uh, future of Iranian regime. Because you have to understand that after Khamenei dies, it might be that the supreme leadership position is not the highest position in the, in, in the country. The, it, it might, the supreme leader position might take a backseat to IRGC. Some people say that it already has taken a backseat. 
right? Well, maybe not mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. how many managed to remove a lot of people. But who is in charge at IRGC when Khamenei dies will define oh the nature of Iranian regime. So, and, and just in the past week or so, a lot of that change. Okay, so what I found really interesting, I read this article in preparation for this question. And so this guy that was fired, he was the chief of the IRGC's intelligence operation organization, mm-hmm. Hossein Tayyip. Um, and this article touches on this might be more, this might be a blow to Mushtaba Hamane because oh. they were seen very, very close together. And so there's a whole, because here you can see them together. Here's Mushtava on the left and Tayeb on the right. Um, yeah. And this guy, and by the way, this, th- so, so Tayeb was above the law. Like this is a guy that doesn't need any due process to make it disappear. used to be the guy that doesn't need anything to make it disappear. This is a guy that Ahmadinejad himself was like, this man is too powerful. Wow. Like, Ahmadinejad was like, this guy is above anything. Like, he could do whatever he wants. He could just make a case for anybody. He, none of the laws apply to him. He just, he just owns, owns it, you know, just goes and does whatever he deems necessary, right? Um, and nobody could do anything to him, right? And apparently not, now he's just removed. Um, but he's had a relationship with Mushtaba Khamenei for 30 years. That's insane. That the fact that now he's removed. There, because people... no, here, here, because here, here's the analysis. Because of this long association, Tayeb's resignation has been read as many as having weakened Mushtaba Hamane's position. For now, however, this is pure guesswork. Guesswork. Worth noting, no official narrative as to why Tayeb lost his job has yet been issued by an Iranian state media. The speculation is the failure of responding to Mossad. It's all coming together. Yeah, the fact that like nothing. Like Israel has not paid any prices for all the things they're doing to Iran in Iran. Um, for people who wow. don't know, they recently, recently they were trying to take out Israeli citizens in Turkey, but Mossad figured it out before it happened, and they warned everybody. A whole bunch of people were arrested by the Turkey uh, police. Uh, Turkey's relationship with Iran has been damaged because of this revelation significantly. There was a meeting between Turkish officials and Iranian officials that was canceled because of this. Um, even to this day, they, they're, they're, Israel is claiming that still Israelis in Turkey need to leave Turkey immediately. They're not like still, they're still not safe. Um, but it just shows like the level of desperation because Israel takes out high Iranian officials, like IRGC officials, but Iran can't reach that level of. Uh, uh, in Israel, they have to go for civilians that are outside of Israel to be able to try to retaliate. But even then, they failed. They weren't able to, uh, as of yet, get to anybody. Yeah, but random Israeli just... civilians, like low hanging yes. fruit. Yeah, and but but the fact, like they look pathetically weak that Israel gets to do this and they don't have any way to retaliate. Um, yeah, so they because they see they for internal. Uh, for their internal audience, they keep trying, like, acting like they're so powerful, Israel is so weak, the enemy is afraid of us. But when the, things like this happen, they, they, it looks like the, all the propaganda is wrong. By the way, for people who don't know, Iran has two intelli- main intelligence agencies. One of them is with IRGC. The other one is under the presidency, um, supposed to be under the presidency. So it's like a ministry position, a minister position. Mm-hmm. Um so the IRGC one is a lot more powerful than the one that is under the president. But historically, Khamenei himself tells the president that this is the intelligence minister that you, you're supposed to pick. And the, the, the person that fought with Khamenei over that, and he did, well, didn't want to submit to Khamenei, like, I'm the president, I pick my own minister, right? Was not a reformist. Again, it was Ahmadinejad. And this is this this issue was what separate started creating a drift between Ahmadinejad and Khamenei. The fact that Ahmadinejad didn't want the uh, intelligence minister that Khamenei had picked for them. Anyways, wow. But again, this type guy was not the part of the intelligence, the Ministry of Intelligence. This is part of the IRGC's intelligence. 
And the, the problem is that they don't work with each other sometimes. I mean, I don't know if it has got them any better, but they sometimes work against each other. And this is like makes what makes a very, the intelligence part of your country is one of the most important part when it comes to, you know, defense and, you know, um, and the fact Threat that the deterrence. two main, yeah, and the two main ones in your country are not even, they're not sharing, not only they're not sharing information with each other, they're actively like taking, attacking each other. I mean, I think it has become better now because now everything is under Khamenei's watch now. But anyways, it's just weak. Where that might we? explain why. Mossad is in your heart of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. How would you say the heart of your heart in Farsi? Galbe, galbe. Nice. Mm. Okay. Um, I was very excited to get into this question because it was so interesting to me. Okay. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.